All right, welcome everyone. You're probably sitting there thinking, why is he recording his uh, Garrett Apex in the front garden? Now, we've just got back from a little beach hunt. Me and my boy went down there this morning, had a little hunt around. I'll tell you what, we found some really nice stuff, so stay tuned. Also in this video, uh, we went to the beach about a week ago. We found a few little items which I'm gonna add into this video. So stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna stop filming in my front garden now. I'm gonna go in, get myself a drink. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the first. Had a few little bit of cans. It's our first proper signal, 6667. It's got quite a dull tone, sounds a bit like a bottle cap to me. Right, let's see if we can't locate that and I'll catch you in a you minute. Know what? I think these um, R2Ps, the reason why they sound a bit like a bottle cap on the Apex is on the bottle cap as well, you seem to get that big chunk of crappy iron there on the uh, on the top and that gives it the same sort of tone as what a, uh, a bottle cap does. But that's the first coin, not bad. All right, let's carry on. I'll tell you what, if you're working on the stones, and uh, I mean, you're not gonna really get a sand scoop through these stones, because some of these are really chunky. My boy's just scraping the stones away and they're, they're, they're coming away so easy with the uh, little black adder hand tool. We just add this one up, this one, uh, was sketchy, bit of an irony uh, sound to it. Sorry about the zooming in and out there. A little bit of a sort of crackly sound to it. There you have it, another crusty, well, that one's a 1p. All right, let's carry on. Sun's coming out now. Well, still rising, but it's getting a little lighter. This one, really sketchy and really scratchy. Irony grunt all over it bottle opener. You see what people just throw away or just leave down the beach. Just goes in the sea. It grows it all like that. That's what that is. Right. Let's move on. Right, I've said that bottle uh, bottle opener from there. Right next to it. 76, 77. Well, it seems quite long. Sounds a bit like a can. Right, let's dig that out, see what it is. I could be wrong, but I do think that's a can. All right, I'll catch you in a minute. All right, and that's what it was. Another crusty, uh, another crusty coin. I find a lot of crusty coins, like they've been in the water for a long, long time. Now, well, we're gonna make our way up towards where the jet skis all go in, which is one bay, but up from the next. That was our last signal. All right, let's carry on. So is that the old? That one was a little bit harder to find. But eventually we finally, uh, got it. it was a nice strong signal. And there you have it. What is that? Not too sure what that is, that's quite small. What is that? 220 on there. What's that then? I wonder what that could be. 20. Let me give that a quick clean. Hang on. Twenty Grassos, whatever that is. Got no idea. No idea, it says 2019 at the bottom, so probably a coin that someone's brought over and they visited another country, no doubt. Oh well, nice little find. There's uh, an unbowed pier just there. It used to be the uh, second longest pier in the world, that used to be. All right, this one was a 77, 78. Well, right, where'd it go? I did see it. Um, all right. Oh, there it is, I see it. 20 pence. 
20 pence piece, yep. There you have it, a 20p. A spendable. Get in. We're just going to stop for five. On. Now, the last uh, couple of days ago, we went and done a night hunt and a uh, little day hunt. We had a few little finds, so I'm just going to add them into this video and show you now a couple of uh, nice bullets that we found and uh, a couple of pound coins and that which we found just a bit further down there near the pier. Now you can see where the pier used to connect to, which was right up there. As I say, second longest pier in the world that used to be. It had a fire uh, at the end there and then we had a really bad storm and it uh, just knocked the rest of it down. Uh, there's a bit of the pier still remaining at the other end where they've got sort of carnival rides and things like that for the kids. There's the clock tower, it's been here since the 1800s. And Bay's been here for quite a while. Um, there's some some photos which I might be able to get up where it shows you where the sea froze back in the 1960s, I believe it was, or 1970s. Right, we're going to stop for five then, show you these uh, few little finds that we found the other day, and I will see you. And that's what that was, that was reading up at a 64, 65, just in the 60 range. Check that out. That is an un shot looks like a nine millimeter bullet wouldn't you say it was nine millimeter ian what do you reckon nine millimeter i'm not an expert but it's about the nine mil isn't it yeah but we're gonna um put that in a bag be really careful with that because you never know right we're gonna carry on and i will see you at the next These were the last two signals, more bullets. Another one there, nine millimeter. Check that out. And another one of these. I'm not sure what type of gun they go to, to be honest. But check that out. Wonder why they've just gone and thrown them all down here. And it's right next to the pier. It's where a lot of kids play down here. All right, let's carry on and see what else we can't find. All right, check out these nine millimeters that we found on the beach today, metal detecting. Four of them unshot, so I'll be really careful with these because they've been in the water. I don't look like they've been in there for a hell of a long time. But there's four there. Check them out. Four all unshot nine millimeter bullets. Absolute stunning finds though. All right. Give me a nice signal here. In the 80s, it's solid 80, that. Thinking a bit of a can of some kind. It's really high tone and all. Right, let's dig that out and see what it is. That's, uh, that's what it was. That's one thing to remember with the Apex. Um, when you're in the field, on the field, and you have it multi-frequency mode. Now, this will read up in the uh, 50s, 54, 55, I believe, solid. Um, on the beach, you see there. 80s. Might have been a little bit of stainless or something they put through the top there. I think it's stainless they put through the top. Could have been that, but as you can see there, it's more than likely picked up the lead, which is a solid 80 on the uh, beach mode. All right, 75, 76. 2p. That one was quite deep. It's just started turning a bit crusty there, but we've got it just in time. Hey, another spendable. All right, let's carry on. Another solid 57, 58. Another 20 pence. Hey, now we're about 44p so far. <laughs> it ain't too bad. Uh, as I say, we're going to uh, make our way up. I'm keeping on this little bit here at the moment, like the lower bit, and then we're going to go up and have a little look on the stones. There you have it, 20 pence piece. Well, over the last couple of days, a few people have said to me when they've uh, stuck a new coil on, they're having a, a few issues. They're getting false signals. Now, if you ever swap a coil over on the uh, Garrett Apex, always reset the machine back to its original settings. Hold the power button down until you hear two beeps, and it'll be reset. Always reset the machine whenever you stick a new coil on. All right. We're going to make our way up there, along there, see what else we can't find. Right, 
That's it. Right. Finding a few 20 pence pieces now. I've had quite a few of these. Nearly up to about a pound now. Lucky it was free parking. Hey, it's not bad though finding the old coins. We're up in the 60, 68 to 74s. The old 20p's. Not found a pound yet. All right. We'll see you at the next. I was reading up at a 64, 65. Check this little thing out. There's little stones in it. I don't think it's gold. I think if anything, it might have been gold plated. Check out that stunning little bit that is. I do like finding little things like that. Pin brooch of some kind. Hey, stunning little bit. Me wrong. Right. I don't mind finding the odd 20 pence piece, but when I've had about five or six 20 piece, could at least find me a buck of Rooney. Hey, oh well, still spendable in the pot. Christmas time. All right, as I say, sun's coming out, tide's just going out. That's where the jet skis and that go down. And uh, the green balls are out there. These red ones, to say they're not allowed past these red balls, but that's always packed them for eBay. So we're gonna check over there. This was our last signal, another 20 pence piece. All right, always make sure you check your holes, because uh, I went to walk off and went over signal. And uh, it's still saying that there's something in here. So. Oh, yeah, it's going up over there. Is it going to be another 20p? Oh, no, it's a 50 pence. Hey, 50p. Get in there. That's better. 70p out of one hole. Hey, that's better. Got a 50p. Right, now it's time to find a pound of Rooney. Get in there. Lovely job. Well, this one made my right. heart stop for a minute. 65, 66. As soon as it flipped over, I thought it was onto a bit of gold then, but I don't think that, that's definitely not gold. I don't know what that's for. Could be from the bottom end of a lighter or some kind. Don't know what they are in there, let me have a quick look. <laughs> nah. Got no idea what that is. Could be a bit of a bottom of a vape pin, all I know. Alright. Well, I thought it was gold. Never mind. Let's carry on. This one was screaming up at me. First I thought it's gonna be a coin, but check this out. I think it's only a bit of costume jewellery. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of costume jewellery. Oh, what the heck that is there on the front? Some sort of snake or something, maybe? Can't see any horn marks. Right, let's give that a quick clean up. And uh, I'll come back to you in a minute and let you know what that is. Right, I'll catch you in a minute. I had a good look at it. And it is just a bit of costume jewellery. Looks like a snake just wrapped round over itself there. It's got some little tiny little diamond bits in there, but it's just a uh, bit of costume jewelry, but it's still a nice little find. Right, as I say, this is where all the jet skis go. So we're gonna carry on around this bit and hopefully we might find a few more like this. All right, let's carry on. Let's see you at the next. Well, I haven't dug this one out yet. Don't know if you can see it, just there. I don't want to pull it because I think it's still connected to something. Oh no, it's not. There you go. Big earring. <laughs> Size of that. Size of that for an earring. Tell you what, it feels quite light. I don't know if that's silver or not. We'll do a little test when we get back with the silver test, but size of that. <laughs> we we'll never have that in there here. Oh, Pat Butcher. She'd have loved that. All right, let's see if we can't find the other one. And uh, yeah, if not, when we get back, we'll see if that's silver. Let's see what else we can't find. All right, we've only got long left, but we found another 20p. Hey, got quite a few 20s. Not bad, not bad. It's been a good uh, 
few few hours hunt this morning. Tide's still going out. And there you have it, that was my last target. Another 20p. Do a little round up at the end. Show you all the bits that we found. Alright, let's carry on. Still checking the uh, same hole. And we've got another 20p. Hey. Not bad. Alright, let's carry on. Too bad finding the uh, coins through there. As long as you've got a pinpointer. 2p. Oh well, mustn't grumble. See you at the next. I was reading about 63, 64. Check that out, got myself an earring. <laughs> it's lost loads of the uh, stones, it's a little wee bent there. But I'll tell you what, I think they could be silver. The size of the blooming earrings that I found today. They are ginormous, yeah, there's all marks just there on the, uh, the little latch there. All right, I'll give it a clean up, put a few stills up, but I'll tell you what, another stunning little find. Hey, get in there. All right, let's carry on. Quick and round up. Here's your junk. Here's all your junk, your bottle caps. Bottle opener to go with the bottle caps. A few ring pulls. Now, the ring pulls, I can usually uh, work out with the tones, but every now and then, it's always nice to dig a few. Um, this weird little tiny little bit of aluminium or whatever it is, a bit of scrap. One foreign coin, no idea on that one. We've got a load of 20p's, we've got about £2.20p in coins. Live 9mm, we've got about seven of them now. Nice little bit of a silver earring. Another nice little bit of a silver earring. I'm not sure if that is 100% silver yet, but that's definitely silver. And, nice little costume jewellery ring. So, the uh, Double D Raider Coil works brilliant down on the beach. A little bit more stable than the bigger coil on the beach. So, if you're going to do a beach hunt, I would say go with the uh, Raider Coil. Because the Raider Coil seems to work really, really well. And there you have it. That's my day's hunt. Right, right.